Well, hello and welcome back. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a spring refresh in our dining room. And currently, I am sitting down to film this intro to do a little face-to-face, -face, a little sit-down chit-chat. Um, so we have some commentary of what's going on because it's a little chaotic at the moment. Um, I'm making a lot of big changes in there. I'll show you the before. Um, so as you can see, everything was kind of gray, neutral. There wasn't a lot of color happening in here. And well, for a while I did have a lot of green in my dining room, um, but I'm kind of moving away from green and embracing blue. And by embracing, I kind of mean that I'm going crazy and throwing blue into every single room of my house because I have realized that blue just makes me feel cheerful and calm and peaceful. It's just every time I look at it, it feels right. It just gives me this sense of serenity. So maybe that's because I lived by the water for so long and I don't really at the moment, I mean, we live in Michigan, so it's a peninsula, so there's always water around not too far away, but I can't see it from my window anymore. So I'm adding it in. And um, so for my dining room, I really wanted to add in a little bit more of that country, very aqua blue color. I have a lot of the like navy blues in all of my other rooms. So I was kind of trying to bring in some different tones of blue in there because I do love that very uh, English looking um, aqua -y kind of blue color. So um, I got some new things for the room, uh, like a tablecloth that you probably are seeing right now. <laughs> and I was very inspired by this. I think it's good to have something to get you excited, like a jumping off point, and then just kind of go from there. So I knew I wanted to do a tablecloth. The tablecloth is just from Target and very inexpensive, um, but I think it's beautiful. It's giving me the very country, European farmhouse feel that I'm going for in there. And the plate rack that I had just found at the antique store, um, it was actually silver and I spent some time today working on it, spray painting it, trying to do some rust effects because I never like anything to look super brand new and perfect. So I think that turned out good and I love having that to add some height and to be able to display some of my antique plates in the different blue green tones. And we're just gonna liven things up and brighten things up. Um, I'm not doing too much Easter yet. Stay tuned for that. We'll get the bunnies and stuff out here soon. But I hope that you enjoy decorating with me and refreshing our dining room for spring and just kind of um, tinkering around the house and doing some odds and ends here and there in this video. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you felt inspired by anything, um, give this video a thumbs up if you did and consider subscribing. I think that you'd be pretty happy here. I try and keep my content inspiring and just beautiful and peaceful and um, just a safe place to come here on the internet to just enjoy beautiful things. So, all right guys, let's get back to decorating.
How cool and unique are these bread bags that I brought home from Target. I just loved the texture, the quality of the fabric, looked very vintage to me. And so I just have some of this faux bread that I actually got for my kids for Christmas and I use it actually all the time. I think I need to upgrade and get some nicer quality faux food from Etsy, but I will link these down below. They're very inexpensive and they do look quite real from a distance. But here I am loading up this little pie rack here that I gave a makeover to with some of my favorite blue, blue green antique dishes. And then this is a quilt that my mother-in-law made and she sent me home from Florida with four quilts. I was so excited because it's hard to come by quilts here in Michigan. They are quite expensive. So to have these beautiful quilts just makes my heart happy. I really wanted to create an impactful flower arrangement using these beautiful blue hydrangeas and I'll have these linked below for you. They're so pretty and I love this big crock. I haven't actually used it in quite a long time because I just didn't know what I wanted to put in it, but I think it's the perfect vessel for an arrangement like this. So as you can see, I started out with those, I think they're like fox glove um, stems in the back there. Um, I'm taking those out because they just, they just weren't doing it for me here. I, I tend to be more reserved with things, even though I'm definitely not a minimalist. I think doing decor well is all about knowing how to edit yourself and be somewhat restrained in a way. So I love the look of the blue hydrangeas with those really um, creamy colored baby breaths. Um, I think it's just so pretty. see me turning my attention to the gorgeous built-in china cabinet within the dining room. This tends to get very cluttered and it's kind of a catch-all for just anything china, any type of dishware that I don't really necessarily have a place to display it. So I wanted to kind of make this look a little more intentional. So I'm taking out the milk glass plates and cups that I have um, at the very top here. And I'm just going to put those within my kitchen in the upper cubbies. And I'll tell you a little bit later on what my plans are for those upper cabinets and why it might make more sense to store things up there. So as you can see, this is our current state. 
It always gets worse before it gets better, right? So I'm just in the process. I'm trying to go through things, organize. This china cabinet just ends up completely full of just a mishmash of things. And so I'm trying to go through it and make it a little more orderly. One of these days I need to paint the inside probably, but it's like there's no collection of anything in specific. It's just random things. So I still haven't added any blue over here. Just that quilt on the top there, which I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that way or not. Maybe try and make room for inside the hutch for some blue. So I did get my milk glass collection that was up here. I ended up moving that, as you saw, to above my cabinets in my kitchen. I have a lot of milk glass in here, so I thought it probably made more sense to keep it all together in one room. So that's what we did up there, those cabinets. I never know what to put up there. I'm hoping to have some doors made soon, I'm waiting for my dad to help me with that project. And we'll put some glass doors up there and then I can keep things up there like my milk glass, but it'll just look a little more intentional, I think. Try to 
keep it so still But the wind blows Ooh. 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 Oh, the wind, the wind. It's shy. 